So I'm going to go over how to set up your Helium wallet. Now, if you are got an iPad, you go, I mean, an iPhone, you go to the Apple Store. If you got an Android, you go to the Google Play Store. I happen to have an Android, so those are the screenshots I'm going to show you. But it's going to be very similar if you're doing it uh, with the Helium app from the Apple Store. So uh, basically, on the Google Play Store, you go in, you search for Helium Hotspot. Now, there's several different apps that have the word helium in it so make sure it's got that logo that you see here uh, then you know you've got the right app i think some of them are maybe a dating app or something like that uh, you're not going to get quite the same results so you, you go ahead and you click on that you're going to go ahead and install the app then after it installs you open it up and then the first thing it's going to ask you to do is create an account now if you look below that it says import existing account and you know if you if you lose your phone or you're setting up uh, your wallet on another phone you'll import the account that you did but right now let's just start from scratch so we're going to click create an account and when it does that it's going to say uh, click here to generate 12 words or it just says generate my 12 words now it's really important that you write these words down in the order that they're given to you and then you'll be tested on it so uh, it'll give you the word one at a time and then you just you know scroll over to the next word so in this case the first word is drop and you go through 12 words where you're writing these down number one drop etc you get to the last one this would be 12 is abandoned and then after you do the 12th word it allows you to click on where it says i have written these down okay very important to write them down and to never give them to anybody else because if you do, they can recreate your Helium wallet on their device and use it just like you are, like transfer your Helium to their account at a cryptocurrency exchange. So you never want to give those words out. So after you click on I have written those down, it's going to actually test you on three of those words. It'll say in this case, number three, and it'll give you a list of words and you got to choose what word was number three on your list. You click on it. And then it'll give you number seven in this case. You pick, click on the word that's on your list at number seven. Do the same thing for number nine. You click on that word. And then at the end, it's going to ask you to set up a PIN code. It's a six-digit PIN code, six numbers. Uh, you're going to set that up. It's going to bring it up again to ask you to repeat it, to confirm it. And then once you do that, you're basically done. Uh, it's going to come up with the screen to set up a hotspot. If you don't have your hotspot yet to set up, then the, you know you're pretty much done on the situation. But now you want to get take a look at your Helium wallet. And if you look at the bottom, there's these different icons. The one we're on right now for set up a hotspot is this icon. It looks like an old Helium unit. So you're going to click here on the bottom where it's got these two arrows pointing to each other. That's for basically receive and send. You click on that and it opens up your Helium wallet. Um, the green one facing the individual is to receive Helium. You don't click it up there, you click it down here. And when you click on that, it will then bring up your helium address it'll give you the qr code and below that you got all these different new alphanumeric characters and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click share uh, this is this is a great thing to do when you click share it'll give you the options where to share it to we recommend sharing it to like an email um, because that way you got you can easily find it and use it again and copy and paste it or you can just copy it and then uh, paste it right into your back office. I'm going to show you how to do that. So in my case, I wanted to send it to my email. It's your receive address. So if anybody else gets that address, uh, the only thing they could do is send you Helium, which, hey, you know, if they want to do that, all power to them. So when you click on this, it's going to ask for your PIN number just to approve that you want to share that address. Uh, you put that in, and then it'll send it to your email. In this case, I know it's hard to read, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just copying that address, and now I'm going to paste it into my back office. So at this point, you want to go to your back office. You log into my.ihub.global to get into your back office. This is just a test account. 
uh, that I made up a fictitious person, Sam Tester, for doing this. But the way you do it is you go ahead and you click on uh, Commission Back Office there at the bottom. And when you do this, it will bring you to a screen. Now, if this is the first time you're going to your Commission Back Office, uh, it's going to give you a, a temporary password that you're going to want to copy that password and then paste it into the password field. It's already populated the username. And this, when you click on login, will take you over to your commission back office. Now, somebody was asking me today, they said, well, I went ahead and when I got over to the back office, I set up a new password. <clears throat> when I got to my commission office, I set up a new password. But when I go back in the original office and click, click here to get there, it's still showing the temporary password there. Well, that's true. That's why it's temporary. That was just there to get you to the point where you could set up your own password. And, and this time, you'll just want to put your new password you created into this field rather than the temporary one, and it'll take you over to your back office. So this is what it looks like when you get over there. And again, the purpose of what we're doing here is we want to copy that Helium wallet address and put it in our back office so, so that iHub knows where to send the Helium if you're due to get any on this next commission run or the previous one. So the first thing you do is you click commissions. And then when you do that, uh, it's going to open up a couple of things underneath of it. And you're going to go ahead and click e-wallet. You click e-wallet. And then it's going to take you to a page where you'll be able to put in your Helium wallet address. Now, I already pasted one in there, but that's where you're going to paste it. And what you're going to want to do is go back to that email address and take a very serious look at that address. Pay attention to the first three characters and the last three characters so that when you paste it, you know that you pasted it completely. You didn't miss a character. In this case, the first three characters is one three capital N. The last three is five uh, lowercase hm. So you go back to your your uh, wallet and you uh, make sure you know what those six characters are. Then all the ones in between are going to be correct. You paste it in there. You check it, and you want to make sure you confirm it. Uh, it says to confirm that my commission should be paid in HNT and sent to the address provided, and confirm the address provided above is a valid and correct HNT address. So before you click those things, go back and take a look at your, your email address, go back to your wallet if you want to, make sure you look at the first three and the last three, that you got it right, that you pasted that in, and then you go ahead and click save changes, and basically you're done at that point. That's gonna, that's gonna essentially uh, get your wallet in there and you'll be in good shape when it comes to iHub sending you uh, commission tokens into your account.